Hello everyone, so we will continue our data engineer interview preparation part and in this particular video we are going to solve one of the python coding question which was recently asked in one of the interview and the, this question you will see in a lead code also that this is a two sum question so let's understand the question and we'll see about the solution part also so our question is like they have given a list so the suppose the list is 2, 7, 11 and the 15 this is the list they have given and they have also given the target suppose target is 9 now what we have to do we have to find out if I will do the sum of these two elements right any of the two elements in the given list if the target is coming 9 then I have to return the their index so if you will see in our list if I will do 2 plus 7 that is coming equal to the target right that is 9 then in, I have to return the index of this 2 that is a 0 and the 1 so suppose this 7 is present here suppose 7 is present here now in this case what will be our output our output will be a what is the sum of the you can see 2 plus 7 is equal to the 9 right in this case our output will be the 0 and uh, what is the index of this 7 the index is the 2 so what we have to find out we have to iterate this whole list and we have to find if any of the two element if any of the two element sum is equal to this target then I have to return their index so that is the question we have and that we have to solve and this example you will see in a lead code also so multiple uh, use case you can see like one of one of the use cases like suppose this is the list 3 2 and 4 and the target is 6 so on which particular two element you will do sum that will be equal to the 6 you can see 2 and 4 right so in this case what is the index of this 2 and 4 index is 1 and 2 so output will be the 1 and 2 so like that actually we have to find out so how actually we will solve it let's try to solve it so let's try to solve this so what I will do I will create one function the function name is 2 sum this is the function I will give I will pass the list and I will pass the target now what I will do I will use a brute force approach and let's try to solve how actually we can do that so what I will do I will just try to iterate this whole list so I will use this if I use for i in range why I am using a range because we need an index also right length of list if I will do that will be my first loop and if I will do another loop for j in let me write then I will explain you j in range length of I will start with the i plus 1 means whatever this i right so it is starting from 2 right so for j what I will do we will start from the 7 so I am writing i plus 1 and length of list if I will do this two loop actually I am doing a loop now what I will do I will try to check it if list of i plus list of j equal 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 to the target if it is equal to the target right then what we will do we will just try to return their index i and the j this is a simple approach right now what actually I am doing let me execute and let me show you if I will execute this let's see what is the output we are getting you can see our output is a 0 and 1 so it's correct right so what actually I am doing first I am iterating the whole list for i in range of all the list okay now I am doing another loop that actually I am starting from a 7 now after that I am doing list i plus list j so I am checking if the 2 plus 7 is equal to the target or not you can see the 2 plus 7 is equal to the target right so I am just returning the their index i and j if I will write list i plus list j I will get the number if I will only write the i that I will get the index of this plus particular 2 so that is a brute force approach but here you will see right the time complexity is a o n square and this is not a optimized optimal solution so now let's try to solve in an optimal way so the same how actually we can solve this so I will create one more function now let's try to optimize let's try to see with the help of hash map how actually we can solve so what I will do first I will create one function and I will show you one more thing so suppose this is the list okay this is the list uh, this is the list if I will write for i in for i and n n is number in 
enumerate enumerate a list if i'll do and if i'll print i and num in this case what will happen if i am using a enumerate right i can get the index also this i will represent the index and num will represent the whole number now if i'll print this right you can see zero is the index for the two zero in this index for the two one is the index for the uh, seven means if i'll do for i in enumerate list i will get the their index as well as the number now let's try to solve let's try to use the similar way so what i will do i will create one hash map i will create one dictionary and i will try to first iterate it similar way for i in for i num in enumerate list and what i will do what i will check if i will check target let me write then i will explain you if target minus num if target minus num is what is the target target is a nine right and num is the number what is the number of the particular list we are iterating right iterating so i am checking if target num in d this is the dictionary we have created right if this is available in a d in this case what i will do i'll just return target i'll explain this just a minute i'll d target minus num target minus num and the i this i will return otherwise else d num equal to the i so what actually i am doing let me first print it and let's see whether we are getting the output or not now if i will execute this you can see i am getting the output now let's try to understand how this code is working so what i will do i will create one dictionary now what actually i am doing i have just iterating right for i in enumerate list so this actually we are doing it to get their index as well as the number now after that we are using this for if condition if this if condition is not satisfying then what actually we are doing d num equal to the i now let's first understand what this d num equal to the i if i write d num equal to the i what actually happening and let's try to understand if i write d num equal to the i and if i print d now in this case what is happening the number as well as their index number as well as their index actually it is printing number as well as the index it is printing but it's coming in the else condition before to that let's first understand what this if condition so what actually we are doing we are writing if target minus num in d so as of now d is empty right now what is our targets so let's define the target also target is 9 right so what is target target is 9 what is the number number we are iterating right so first number will be the 2 whether is available in d or not 9 minus 2 is available in d or not so for first iteration d is empty right so nothing is available then in this case what will happen it will go into the else condition it will go into the else condition and what will be what value we will get we will get d equal to the I like this we'll get d equal to the 2 and the 0 means the number as well as the index now for the second number for the second number it will check whether 9 minus 7 is available in d or not 9 minus 7 in d or not now d is this right this 2 is available right in this case 2 is available so in this case what actually we are doing we are printing their index we are printing the index is 0 and we are printing the the whatever the seven index right that actually we are printing so like that actually we are doing in this particular course so try to solve this uh, definitely this is a important question and this is a little bit tricky also